your question is solved. What they have given? X square plus 6x minus 7 greater than 0. Here they have given 14x square plus 17x minus 6 less than equal to 0. That means it is in inequality equations. For inequality equation, what we have to do? First, we have to see the coefficient is positive or negative. We can see here the coefficient of x square is positive. Here also positive. That means we will get a minimum point like this. Here also. Now, now solve this by taking equal to sign. What we will get as the value of x? You can see this is minus 7. That means uh, minus 7 into 1. So we can say 7 minus 1 is 6. That is a middle term. So we will write like this. x square plus 7x minus x minus 7. That gives you 0. You can see x is common. So here you will get x plus 7. Here minus 1 is common. Again you will get x plus 7. That gives you 0. Now, the factors are x plus 7 and x minus 1. That gives you 0. That means that either one of them is equal to 0. So we can go for x is equal to, we can say it's a minus 7 or x is equal to 1. Now put the value minus 7 should be on your left side that is less than 1. 1 should be here. Now check the inequality sign. They have told greater than 0. That means it should be a positive one. We are moving towards the positive. The positive is upside. This way. So you can see for here x is what? x should be less than minus 7. And a minus 8, minus 9 like that. It should be less than minus 7. And from here we can see x is greater than 1. Greater than 1. We are moving toward the right. Now, we will check the relationship between them. You can check that x is here and x should be greater than what? 1. You can see and less than we can say it's a minus 7. So if x is greater than 1, that means it will be 2, 3 and 4. And here they have told x is less than 7. That means it should be minus 8. Minus. That is there is no relation. We got a gap in between them. Therefore, we will not take this relation here. We will write or. Now, next comes to your second question. What they have given? See this 14x square plus 17x minus 6 is less than equal to 0. So, we have made the graph first. That is your positive, that is your minimum point. Now, just solve this. We can see for a middle term splitting here it is 14 and here it is minus 6. That means that uh, 14 factors are 2 into 7. And 3 factors are 2 into 3. Now, can we make 17 here? Uh, 7 into 3 is 21 minus 4 is 17. Yes, we can make. So we will write 14x square plus 21x minus 4x minus 6 is equal to 0. <coughs> Here the 7 is common. 7x is common. You will get 2x plus 3 and here minus 2 is common again you will get 2x plus 3 that gives you 0 the factors are what 7x minus 2 
and 2x plus 3. That gives you 0. That means that x is equal to, we can say it's a 2 by 7. And here x is equal to what? Minus 3 by 2. So this is negative, this is positive. Negative comes to your left side, minus 3 by 2. And positive comes here, 2 by 7. Now, see the inequality sign, what they have told? Less than equal to 0. That means we are moving towards the negative side. So this is your negative side. Downward. Now, so that means that what? If you move towards this side, that means it will be greater than minus 3 by 2. So we can say it as x is greater than equal to minus 3 by 2. And if we move towards this side from positive, you will get the less than. That means x should be less than equal to 2 by 7. Now we will go for a relation. So here we will write what x. And here it is x should be greater than equal to minus 3 by 2. And x should be less than equal to 2 by 7. So now check it x should be greater than minus 3 by 2. That means we are moving towards the 0. And here they have told less than 2 by 7. Again we are moving towards the 0. That means this is our relation.